as always, I want to ask all of you Cheebits right off the bat, how are all of you doing today? And how has your week been since the last vlog? Hopefully it has been very good. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself and hopefully you've had a lot of fun getting to do what you normally do to have fun. So one thing I want to address before I get into fan mail to I talk about some certain things I want to do this week, I want to address something. As you can already tell, I think everybody by now already knows, there is a new intro or there's an intro in general for my videos and that comes at a surprise to a lot like I've been experimenting for this past week like this entire week since the vlog day I have been using this intro for all my videos and it's been an experiment it's an experiment to see if you Cheebits like that or not and from the reception I saw from all of you Cheebits on the vlog to my individual videos throughout this entire week it's been very positive, like I haven't seen really anything negative at all, but as always, I ask all of you for your thoughts about this because this isn't just my channel, it's all of your channel. We have built this community. We have all worked together to build this community for what it is, so it's not just me. And so, I'm going to ask all of you now, since I've experimented with it for a week and I've gotten my feedback, what I needed, I'm just curious to see what your guys' thoughts are now after a week of dealing with this intro. Do you guys like the intro? Let me know in the comments. Please, give me your positive or negative, whatever thoughts you have. Like, give me your real feedback, how you feel about that intro. I, I want to hear it because I take everything you all say into consideration to improve and be better. That's what I always do. So, please let me know, honestly, in the comments. Please let me know that. I I'm going to be looking through them all, and I usually look for all the comments always. I just don't reply to every single one, but I will be looking through all those, staying closely in tune with what you guys say to see if you all like it or not, and see which one, you know, weighs heavier. Like, you know, is it more positive or is it more negative? So, please let me know. So, I want to do a quick shout-out to the person that made that intro for me. Yeah, I didn't make that intro. I'm not going to take any credit for that intro at all. I was just experimenting with the intro, and when this vlog came around, I was going to do the shout-out to the fellow person that made this intro for me. So, the person that made it for me is a fellow anime and manga reviewer that mainly loves to review seinen series and i will have my friend's channel in the description it'll be on top of all of the summaries and stuff it's in the description i really do recommend to check out this dude's channel ani reviews because he is such a good guy I, I he's a great friend of mine i chat with him all the time and if you maybe if you're a content creator and you need an intro maybe he might make you one i don't know you have to take it up with him just private message him or comment on his channel uh, you know channel he might make you an opening i, I don't know but I'm just saying though, I want to do a brief shout out to him because the opening is very nice. I like the intro. It looks very solid. I like the sound effect to it. I like the little pop sound when, you know, my little avatar pops up. Just very good work and I appreciate all the effort my friend has made. Tom, thank you very much. So, getting into other things now. Now that I've done that, I want to talk to you about something. Okay, so a couple of Cheebits have already noticed. If you look behind me, there's quite a few volumes missing. <laughs> Claymore Volume 2 is out of the shelf, and I, I saw a couple of Chibas mention that. Pandora Hearts Volume 3 is also out of the shelf. And if you kept on track with my other stuff, like Gangsta or A Silent Voice, I'm also got that out of the shelf behind me. So, I am actually trying to put a review out on these four series very soon. I I'm trying. And right now, I just don't have th the fucking time. <laughs> it's, this season is killing me, dude. As, as you could see... These vlogs are out on Tuesdays now. They're not out on a Sunday. They're out on freaking Tuesdays. Probably late Tuesday. And it's not because I don't want to do it. I love making these vlogs. It's just this anime season has been very, very, very busy. Like, there, there's just so much. And then on top of that, with my schedule, I, I my schedule's so fucked up right now. My sleeping schedule is just beyond repair. Like, it's fucked, dude. It's so fucked. But... I'm trying to get the reviews out on these this week. I only have also about less than 20 chapters away until I've caught up from DeGray Man. I'm also going to let you all know that. So, I'm practically caught up with DeGray Man, and I'll, I'll be completely done with it. And I'll be doing an overview and then doing a, you know, a chapter review. That's what I plan on doing for DeGray Man. And then a lot are asking about, you know, the Kuroko No Basket. I I'll give an update on that very soon. Yeah, Room Tour will be out probably next week or the week after that's when the room tour will be out because i just gotta get some things situated i want to reorganize my manga shelves and stuff where i can have it nice and good for when i showcase it off to you, all of you in the room tour so yeah room tour 
Let's see, I, I talked about these, because you, some of you are asking about these series. I, I, what I'm doing with Gangsta, if you're wondering, I'm, I want to do a comparison with, you know, the manga and anime. That, that's what I want to do. Kind of like what I did with Tokyo Ghoul. You remember my Tokyo Ghoul comparison videos between the anime and manga? And I did some for a comic got killed, too. I remember I did that. I, I'm going to do this for Gangsta. I want to try it out to see how it is. So, uh, look forward to that, you know, later on. So, now that I've got that out of the way, I think I can move on to fan mail now. So... To start off some fan mail, the best way to start off is through some beautiful letters from you fellow Achievement. So I have uh, two letters that looks like two different people that two uh, fellow Achievements have sent them. And yeah, let, let's open up this one from Tree Star. I, I think that's how you say it, Tree Star? If I'm butchering it, you know how I am. I'm sorry, it's just how I am. I don't purposely do it, but... Hopefully we get a really nice, good, cute little letter. I love letters from you Achievements. It's just so sweet. Uh, is that like a paper crane? That is, isn't it? Oh my god, look! That is crazy. Wow. I have never seen these in real life. Like, I I've always seen them in anime, but I've never seen these, like, in person. Holy crap. Okay, so let's read this letter. Hello, Chibi. One day I was wandering through the strange land of YouTube, and I came upon a strange guy who looks 17 with funny hair and anime videos that were recommended to me because I watched Misty. I watched some of your videos, and I was lo was Chibi-fied immediately. Oh, you've seen the Chibi-fied video. Interesting. That means you're around in April. I get into anime at the beginning, uh, of my senior year of high school when I remembered that I liked Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Never seen any Gundams, to be honest. And the God Go uh, Gun and the God Gundam. The show is pretty cheeky and old, but I love it and its soundtrack. I want to thank you. It's because of you I picked up Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, the Spice of Wolf Light novel, good shit, and Monster Muzumi, wink wink, and what I wanted to talk about today is the Sword Art Online light novels. Oh. I watched the anime, liked it, so I thought, why not read the source material? And I was extremely surprised by all the adaptation. Light novel, manga, progressive, light novel, progressive manga. I don't know if you have read slash watched SEO. I have. I have. I have. I'm pretty much up to date with the light novels as well. But if you have, I would like to know your opinion on the light novel of the manga or progressive or not. Okay, so the manga... I never personally read the manga for what I saw. It just seemed like it was kind of adapted from the anime, which the anime season one was kind of like, nah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I like the light novel. I love the light novel of SAO, but I'm not a big fan of how season one of SAO was because it butchered the original source, and I'm just not a fan of that. But, that's my opinion. Personally, I'm a bigger fan when it comes to the SAO franchise. I'm more of a fan of the light novels. I love the light novels. I like the underworld art currently going on in the light novels. It's very nice. I love it. I'm not going to spoil nothing, but a really good arc. One of the longest arcs in the series. And I, I don't want to dive into spoiler territory, but I, I can't wait to see some of that adapted into an anime. Because season two of SAO was pretty damn good it, in terms of adaptation of an anime. It was leaps and bounds way above Season 1's adaptation. Season 2 of SAO was great. Not perfect, but it was great. And I look forward to a Season 3 if it does the exact same thing Season 2 did. Because that final episode of SAO 2, that was damn good. That was fucking good. So, what do we have here? Okay, you want to hear my opinion on it? Okay. Okay, so you just know my opinion. There I go. I told you my opinion on that. Uh, it's kind of hard to find an um, anthropomorphic... Catwoman. Hello. So I just wanted, uh, wait, an anamorphic Catwoman? Hello is not cat, so she's a wolf. Okay, and so I just make a kawaii 2D fox and a crane. You can make the crane flap its wings by pulling the base of the tail straight back. Thanks so much for everything, and have a moe day. Oh, you got a cute little apple. Hello, look at that cute little apple. That, that's, that's cute. That's fucking cute. Dear Chibi, Hello, I've been meaning to write fan mail, but I've always got stuck on what to write to you. Haha. -ha. I found your channel this one day randomly. You were reviewing chapter 80-something of Taizai. That is a long, long time ago. I thought it was pretty cool, so I checked out your other videos, and I was surprised at how many reviews you did. What surprised me the most was that you reviewed romance series. I get asked about that a lot. Like, I'm like one of the only reviewers to really dive in and review romance series on YouTube. I get told that a lot. I've never seen someone review romance series, so I guess that got me to stay. That in the w wide variety of anime and manga you review. 
Speaking of reviews, I remember in one of your uh, Arsalan reviews, you mentioned how the silver mascot was voiced by Kaiji Yuki. I was shocked when I heard that. I was so used to him voicing characters like Meliodas, Alibaba, and Eren, this really threw me off. But this wasn't the first time I was thrown off. I was thrown off by how many other amazing voice actors. Chibi, do you always constantly check uh, who voices what characters in anime? No, I do not. Okay, back to the question earlier. Since I don't know how you're going to answer that, I'm going to have a list of voice actors and the characters they voiced. The list is going to be another piece of paper because I have a feeling I'm going to go overboard. Whoops. Anyways, thanks for all the reviews. Stay awesome, Chibi. Megan. Okay, so let's read what you say here. So different voice actors. Holy crap, a lot. Okay, so here's the list. Sorry if this does get long. I really love voice actors to the point where I could call myself voice actor trash. Don't call yourself trash. Don't, don't, don't call yourself trash. Don't. Never say that again. Okay, Shinoa, Owari no Seraph, uh, Kagura Fairy Tale. What the fuck, really? Holy shit. Shinai Yuki, uh, Aragami, you know, Snow White the Red Hair, or voiced by Hayami Sori. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Shino from SAO is Selty from Doradora. Ultir and Virgo. Fairy Tale. What? Okay, I knew about the Selty. I did not know about the Ultir. And Virgo. Wow. Okay, so Archer. Let's see. Archer voiced, you know, in Fate. Also, uh, Jeha from Yona and Warwick from Gangsta. Whoa. What the fuck? Let's see. Uh... Oh. Uh, ah, fuck. Kazim? Yeah, that, that's how you say it. Kazim? Kazim from uh, Death Parade? I, I forget his exact name, but you know, the main character. Dakeem. Dakeem. That's it. Dakeem. Dakeem from Death Parade. Natsugu from Log Horizon, and Masamune from Oharu, and Kureto from Owari no Serda. Wow, holy shit. Shikamaru, let's see, Bartolomeu, Barto, and Okuni Nushi from Kamisama Kiss are voiced by Moderi Kubo. Wow, okay. Soji is Sojiro is from Log Horizon, Zeno from Yona, and Yutori from Kamisama. Damn, I, I'm learning some things here. Okay, so the same voice actor of, let's see, Bon, Ashinya, Owari no Seraph, and Hiromi, Beyond the Boundary, and Takio from Kurtoko no Basket are voiced by Suza, Suzuki. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, Gurin from Owari no Seraph, Gray from Fairy Tale, and William from Log Horizon are voiced by the same person. Shu, Natsuomi from, uh,. Dorodora, Yagami Light, Death Note. Shu is Light from Death Note? What the fuck? What? What? You're telling me the voice actor of Light? The voice actor of Light is the same voice actor that voices Shu. That explains so much shit. That explains so much shit. Well, okay, that was long, and it ended up with a ton of uh, male voice actors I like because of this one anime. Shout out to the Chibits who survived that cliffhanger from Utano Prince Sama. Yes, all these male voice actors are in that anime. Anyways, hope you have fun reading this, Chibi. I did. Thank you very much, Megan. This was actually very enlightening about all the different voice actors. I truly appreciate it. And I will keep that in mind from now on. I, I did not realize... Wow, th th that was shocking. The shoe and light. Damn. Okay, so let's move on to the next couple packages. Okay, so we have a package from Lenny. I, th I think that's how you say it. I, it. The wording's cut off because of Amazon, but I'm going to open this up. It feels like a keychain or something. That is cute. Fucking Coralus. Yo, that's cute. That is cute. That is so cute. You guys are going to make me have a brick. I'm going to be carrying around a damn brick. Is there a letter in here? Hello, Chibi. I know you love Coral Sensei, so it's for you. I love your reviews from Gabi Didi. Oh, okay, so Gabi Didi, thank you very much. Cora Sensei, that's badass. Have you seen the latest chapter of uh, Assassination Classroom, actually? Because what's going on in Assassination Classroom's manga right now? Fucking great. Oh my god. The, the, the current arc that just ended? I, I cannot wait. Uh, next package is from Amazon. From Dot Jacob. Okay, so they, they called my name Dot Jacob on this. Chibi, I know that you already have so much Dot Hack. To go through, but I recently discovered that Funimation was bringing the dot hack that told the story of GU game to the West, so I knew that I had to send you it. From Danny. 
Thank you very much, Danny. So, this is another hack anime? I'm still trying to get through all that hack stuff you guys have sent me, Danny, and now others. I mean, I'm still trying to get through that. There's quite a bit of freaking material of hack, man. It's crazy. Dot Hack GU Trilogy. Is it a movie trilogy? It says on the back here the dot, uh, dot Hack Verse, actually. Okay, so this takes place after Roots, it says on the back. Okay, Dot Hack Roots. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. That's good to know. That is very good to know. See, I'm still trying to get through Roots again. I'm rewatching, you know, the, the first one, the first Dot Hack series. I actually, no, I'm watching Sign right now. I mean, I gotta go to Twilight, I mean, I gotta go to Roots. I, I'm actually currently uh, watching Sign right now. It's prison School? It already has a manga in USA? What? Does it really? Yeah, it's Prison School. Volume 1. Yen Press. So, yeah, it's translated. What? Prison School's already been translated and it's in America? I was unaware of this. I was completely unaware of this. Prison School already has a manga. Translated in English. I might have to do some comparisons to this. Because I know there's been some censorship going on in Prison School. I might also do some comparisons with this. Not just Gangsta, but also Prison School. From Matthew. Hi, Chibi. Seemed like you were also enjoying the series. I also have a question. Where do you see One Piece going in the near future? Crew 2. Mizzy Matt. Oh, hey, Mizzy Matt. So, you're asking, okay, where do I see One Piece going? I heard recently that One Piece just reached 70% in its story. Like, you know, the editor of One Piece said that it reached 70%. And personally, where I see it going in the future, I, I see that, like I said, the final battle, I, I think I said a while back, the final battle is going to have to be between, like, Shanks and Blackbeard and stuff. That, that type of stuff is going to be the final stuff. And the next arc I think we're going to be getting into is going to have to probably deal with uh, Sanji's group, you know, with what's going on with Big Mom and stuff. I feel like that's where One Piece is going to be going next. But along with the crew, you said crew too. So yeah, Sanji is going to be dealing with Big Mom's type issues. I sense it to where Law and then we're going to try to go find uh, Luffy and Law are going to go try to find Law's crew and then also find where Sanji's at. And then that's probably going to be the next arc. I, I feel like that's where it's going to go. So you sent me prison school. Mmm, mmm. Get me a video idea. You get me a video idea. I'm gonna have to look into that. So we have one last package. Let's open this bad boy up. It looks like it is a figure. It's a figure type box. What the hell? Data live? <sighs> Data live? Really? Data live? Oh crap. Oh crap. What is in this? You know, if you've watched my review of Data Live. What the hell? Okay, so. Is this holding cards? Or bookmarks? It looks like it would hold bookmarks. That's what it looks like. What? Okay, so. A bookmark album. Yeah, it does. A bookmark album. A bookmark out? What? I, th those exist? Okay. Okay. I just learned something new. A bookmark album. There's quite a few things in this package. Let me uh, sit in front of me. I can get to it. Egoist Fallen. Psychopath 2. What? Okay, okay, this is, uh, music, music, okay. This is music, and this has the Psychopaths 2 soundtrack. Oh, okay, okay, scared me for a second. I'm like, you sent me the movie? I was like, what? What? Okay, so let me set that aside real quick, and what is this? Hmm, Angel One Way. What comes in this? Heaven's Wire. Capellion. Oh, Capellion and K Missing Kings music is in this. Uh, so, Capellion and Camus and King's theme songs are in this, right here. Angel One Way. Damn, I was addicted to that, you know, music from Fate that was recently sent to me. You know, Brave Shine and stuff. And then, you know, Zenko No Terror music CDs. Fate Apothecary. Whoa. Jonah of the Ark. Jonah, what? Jonah of the Ark? Is that Saber? Like, I guess that's Saber of Fade, Apo uh, Apothecaria, or whatever? I think that, Apothecaria, Apothecaria, whatever. Wow, wow. 
I will have to show you guys this in the room tour when I open it up. But that's what it looks like. Here, let me twist it for you can see it for yourself. But I will open this up and I'll assemble it and I'll show you guys in the room tour like all the other figures you guys haven't seen fully assembled. Because like I said, the room tour will be coming very soon. But that's badass. Jonah of the Ark is in fate? What? That is badass. So we need an anime on that stat. We need an anime. So that about wraps up everything, I think. Like I said, I gotta assemble this once I'm done ending this video. I'll assemble it, put it near the Berserk shelf with the Berserk altar I mentioned in the last video. And you guys will see that very soon in the next two weeks. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all. Hopefully you all have had a great week. Hopefully this season is still being good for you. I know, uh... I, I know you guys are constantly supporting me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I love you all. Please be safe. Shibio.